Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn about one of the most interesting topic that is the skull. As you can see in the figure, the skull is rotating in every direction. Hence, you can get 3D imagination and clear view of the skull from anterior, posterior, inferior, superior and lateral aspect. What is actually the skull? The bony skeleton of the head is termed as a skull. It consists of 22 bones excluding ear ossicles. Except mandible, all the bones of the skull are joined together by sutures and thus they are immobile and form the cranium. The skull is subdivided into two parts. An upper dome shaped part which covers the cranial cavity containing brain is called the cranial vault, calvaria or brain box. It is attached to the skull base below. The calvaria along with the skull base is called the cranial skeleton or cranium. A lower anterior part is called the facial skeleton which includes the mandible. Hence, you can see that the upper one is the cranial skeleton and the lower one is the facial skeleton to which most of the facial muscles are attached. The bones of the skull are divided into two parts, pad bones and unpad bones. Pad bones include parietal bone and temporal bone. Before going in detail, instruction for you all that the bones which are written in blue color are the bones of the cranial skeleton and the bones which are written in yellow color are the bones of the facial skeleton. Hence, pad bone includes parietal bone, temporal bone, maxilla, zygomatic, nasal, lacrimal, palatine and inferior nasal concha. Whereas unpaired bone includes frontal, occipital, sphenoid, ethmoid, mandible, and vomer. First, we will move on to the bones of the cranial skeleton. The first bone of the cranial skeleton is the frontal bone. It is located in the front and so thus it's the name. Second one is the parietal bone. Parietal bone are paired bones. They are two in number and they are joined with each other with the help of the sutures. You can see it from the superior aspect of the skull and anteriorly you can also spot the frontal bone. The third bone is the occipital bone. When we have a view of the skull from the posterior aspect, purple colored bone which is indicated is the occipital bone. Literally the occipital bone forms the inferior part of the skull and the base of the skull. The fourth bone is the temporal bone. It is related somewhat to the ear. Hence, you can remember it by connecting it with the tympanic membrane of the ear. The posterior view of the temporal bone is somewhat like this as you can see in the figure. After removing both the parietal and occipital bone, we get the posterior view of the red color highlighted bone that is the temporal bone. When we remove the temporal bone, we find yellow shaped butterfly bone that is the sphenoid bone. And after removing sphenoid, we find the ethmoid bones. Hence the bones of the facial skeleton are frontal bone, temporal bone, parietal, occipital, sphenoid and ethmoid bones. Coming on to the bones of the facial skeleton. The bones of the facial skeleton includes the zygomatic bone. Zygomatic bone is also known as the cheekbone. Medially to zygomatic bone, there lies maxilla. Both the maxilla and zygomatic bone are paired bones. Inferiorly, you spot the mandible. Mandible forms the lower jaw and it helps in mastication. Now, we will have a view on how our actually facial skeleton look when we remove each of the bones one by one. In first figure, we removed the mandible. In second, we removed both the mandible and maxilla. And in third, we removed mandible, maxilla and zygomatic bone from one half of the face. Having the view of the third figure again from the anterior and lateral aspect, we find a blue colored bone which is the palatine bone. Anteriorly to palatine, there lies red colored bone which is the inferior nasal concha and superior to it, there lies the lacrimal bone which is spotted in purple color. Having a look again on it, the purple one is the lacrimal, inferior to it, there lies inferior nasal concha 
and then after the palatine bone. We can also find vomer bone when we remove the inferior nasal concha. It is a thin plate-like bone. From the anterior aspect, on the upper part of the nose, we find two nasal bones which are joined with each other with the help of the sutures. And below the nasal bone, we find a thin slate-like bone that is the vomer bone. Hence, the bones of the facial skeleton are mandible, maxilla, zygomatic bone, lacrimal, inferior nasal concha, palatine bone and vomer bone. Now what are actually the functions of the skull? The skull provides case for protection of the brain and its coverings. It also provides cavities for accommodation of organs of special senses such as sight, hearing, equilibrium, smell and taste. It provides opening for the passage of air and food and it accommodates teeth and jaws for mastication. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel.